Evolution. Now, some people uh, will not accept that evolution cannot possibly be real, that it's a very, very silly piece of wishful thinking made up by God-haters in order to make the simple believe that everything made itself. Well, you try telling that to your Sunday dinner. But here's another piece of information for you. Now, if I tell you that, you know, uh, evolution cannot possibly exist, um, some God-haters out there will say, oh, rubbish, rubbish, you know, fundamentalist Christians, they're all mental and yak, yak, and okay, fine. Well, what about if the National Geographic Society told you? What about if David Attenborough, Sir David Attenborough himself told you that evolution cannot possibly exist? Would you accept it then? Would you? Would you? Let's see. Evolution doesn't often go into reverse, but it seems to have done so here. After several million years of aerial combat, these bats are reverting to the hunting techniques of their shrew-like ancestors. Did you hear that? Did you hear what he said? I didn't say it. I didn't say it. It's no good arguing with me over it. So David Amra from the National Geographic Society, he said it. I didn't say it. He just said that it seems that evolution is going in reverse. Now, that's not possible. If it went in reverse, it would be devolution. It's not possible for an animal, if it's evolving, to devolve. Is it? I mean, I'd really be interested to hear what the arguments would be against that one. But so, basically... Without going too much into detail, okay? According to what Sir David Attenborough just said, which is backed by the National Geographic Society, for those of you who believe that you also evolved, do you realise that in millions of years' time, one of your ancestors could wake up and find out that he's a monkey? Do you think that's possible? That you're going to become an ape once again? You wouldn't accept that, would you? No, because it would mean that you would be retarded in your evolution rather than having advanced. So there you have it from Sir David Attenborough. So if you need any further proof that evolution cannot possibly exist, well, there's going to be plenty of it to come. Trust me.